The National Association of Anorexia and Associated Disorders estimates nearly one in 10 Americans will be affected by an eating disorder at some point in their life. Our Ford Hatchet takes a closer look at how New Year's resolutions can impact those who are affected by eating disorders. During the first couple weeks of January, it's not hard to find ads for gym memberships or fad diets that promise to get people looking their best. But that diet culture can have a devastating impact on those affected by eating disorders. But actually, January is not a fresh start. It's the middle of the winter still. Psychologist Sally Thornton says humans naturally eat more in the winter, but that doesn't stop internal struggle for some folks around the new year. I remember setting resolutions in middle and elementary school to lose weight. Marissa Blizzard was diagnosed with an eating disorder in 2018 and says even well-meaning or positive comments about her body's appearance can trigger troubling thoughts about her eating habits. Mental health counselor Emily Compton says even if we all followed the same diet and exercised the same amount, we'd still look very unique. But all bodies are different. We're not meant to look the same. And so if we're feeding our body to fit a certain way, then we're not listening to it. We're not trusting it and that distress fosters and it continues to grow. Blizzard says it's taken her a long time, but she's becoming more and more comfortable with loving herself. No matter how your body looks, it's about who you are on the inside. And that has taken a lot for me to say because I always base my worth on my body and taking my body away, maybe going into body neutrality where my body just is, that's really helpful. And several providers we spoke with said they've seen a sharp increase in the number of eating disorder and other mental illness diagnoses since the start of the pandemic. And they say that social media can have a real negative impact on a lot of those conditions. They say it's important to remember that those pictures you see online aren't always representative of real life. Fort Hatchett, WXII 12 News.